Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to use the surface area editing tool. Select the surface area editing tool and we can create the surface area using rectangle, polygons or a plane. Let's use the surface area tool to replace my environments in the 2D and the 3D view. Let's disable the environment and if I zoom out a bit I'm going to have an irregular surface area. Now make sure the ground floor is selects. Yes, it is selected and I can click a polygon to reflect my property. And I can now apply a texture, go to other, put grass, okay, and if we select the 3D view, we'll see we've now got an irregular property shape. Um, if I double click on this, I can actually change the size, yes it's okay, thickness is good. Um, Another method of use is let's zoom into the 3D view and if for instance I want to change an entire plane um, I can select this time inserting plane and as you see as I move my cursor over the model the various planes are selected. If I click on that one and I can actually want to put a wood construction on here and I can repeat the same on other surface areas. Let's have another different kind of material. Um, concrete for instance And so I can also put a surface area on the roof and so on. So there's several uses of using the area surface editing tool. Um, you could also use a tool to put uh, tiles on bathroom walls, carpets on the floor and of course even a picture or an advertising uh, hoarding onto a wall. You just simply replace a texture with um, a photo or any other texture you have. You can also, when you've got the texture, you can change its dimensions, its repeat weight, its rotation, and its UV offset.